the other piece that really, really moved me, um, and I like to think that that gospel artwork um, can become medicine. And I think that uh, just like the Bible is, I think that um, the Bible has comfort, but it also is shocking. And I often, often like to say that the, these sculptures are only as shocking as, as the, the gospels are. And the piece when I was in prison was another one I struggled with uh, for a while until I heard some news um, of a horrible murder that happened um, that went all over the nation. That everyone was talking about it. I don't want to get into the details, but I want to get into what I thought. I thought, oh, we should torture that that, that murderer. We we have to put him. We can't just put him in prison. We have to torture him. We have to bury him up to his neck, and then torture him for those heinous, violent crimes that he did. And then I thought about, principally, I'm first a Christian, and uh, that this is not the greatest approach to to uh, torture criminals and so i thought this is what jesus would want jesus would want me to have compassion for that criminal and actually love love your enemies and so this is this is i think that so so powerful with christianity it asks for us to be perfect it asks for us to love unconditionally and to love our enemies and to see Christ not only in the perfect people, the uh, professional athletes, the bodybuilders, but also in the criminal. And it's interesting because I think that it, it's easier to uh, love a homeless person sleeping on a bench. They're not challenging you. They're not threatening you. Um, but this here is something that I've, I've, I feel is something that needs to be put out there.